All right. What is up, traders? What's up, tycoons? We got to talk about Clove today, okay? Ticker symbol C-L-O-V. Uh, in summary, and some of the key points of today's video is there's a $1.50 key level. We're going to go over why that's a key level. And the reason being is because of the gamma squeeze potential. And also, this is a stock that has a lot of short squeeze potential right now and is making rounds after its you know big rally yesterday. We'll see if we can get some continuation. All right. Now, I do want to mention I have a completely free newsletter. All right. Um, that gives out free trade ideas and also free trade setups in it. Um, you know, this is uh, Tesla. And this was about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. We talked about the abandoned baby and the trend line and the setup there. Um, and you can see, you know, this is how you can get gains of up to 600 or, you know, almost even 200 percent you know, trading, um, you know, options, all right, in the stock market. Now, you don't have to be an options trader. Even if you didn't trade options, this was a still very lucrative move, you know, moving from 230 all the way up to 270. Uh, and Tesla is trying to get to 280 right now. But as I mentioned, there's a link in the description or the comment section down below, and you guys can sign up for that free newsletter and get trade ideas and setups, as well as really good, uh, and, you know, investment intelligence in general sent to your inbox directly. Now, as always, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only, uh, and it's not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So please be sure to read through the full disclaimer, and we're going to get right into Clove, right? And you can see, um, you know, we still have a little bit of ways to go up before we get to our key gamma squeeze level, which is $1.50. Now, if you see here, um, you know, we're doing a pretty good job right now, right? We have support. We have support and we bounced off of that support yet again um, today. And we're trying to break out of this triangle pattern. So we're going to look to see if we can get some continuation to the upside. All right. Expect to see some resistance at $1.40. And ultimately, we want to hold above 136. Right. So if we were to do something like this, um, you know, that's kind of the play that you would be looking for here. All right. Otherwise, if we get a look above and fail, that's going to be a bearish signal. And if we break below that 133 level, uh, it's very possible we come down to $1.25 and it kind of gets rid of the whole gamma squeeze potential, at least in the short term. Now, I keep mentioning a gamma squeeze. What is a gamma squeeze, you ask, right? Well, it's actually related to the option chain. So I'm going to explain it to you guys very simply and visually. So what we're looking at is the call and put options for uh, clove right now. Okay. So the green bars symbolize calls and the red bars symbolize puts. Uh, and you can see, you know, the put to call ratio is at 0.19 right now. Um, so this basically means that there's, you know, roughly two puts out of every 10, um, you know, uh, related to calls, right? So for every two puts, there's about eight call options. Eight call options are, you know, options that are betting that the stock is going to go up. And this is the $1.50 strike price. And you see the huge massive amount of concentration here for this September 15th. That's this Friday expiration. So what happens is if these strikes go in the money before expiration and in the money means that the price is trading above one dollar and 50 cents, uh, then market makers are going to have to be forced to hedge themselves and buy 100 shares for every single option contract. Now, due to the high concentration at the one dollar and 50 cents level. All right, not just on September 15th, but even when you look at September 22nd, again, a huge, huge, you know, green dildo right here, massive amount of call options, right, at the $1.50 strike. Uh, when you go to September 29th, there's a massive amount, not only at the $1.50, but actually at the $2 strike. Now, What's really interesting about that is if we do get a gamma squeeze at 150, it's going to push that price up closer towards $2. And look at the date on this one, September 29th. So if we do get a gamma squeeze at $1.50 and get up to that $2 price level and we're able to close above $2, uh, then there's even more potential for a gamma squeeze above $2, right? And if we hold above $2, then now market makers are going to be forced to hedge themselves and buy the underlying security in this case, Clove at $2 a share. So that way they can, you know, if people want to execute their option contracts, then they would uh, have the necessary shares to do so. So that's what I'm seeing right now. And it's not even the September expirations, right? Even if we go to October 20th, the 1.5 strike right here also has a massive amount of open interest. So uh, it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the short term in the coming days and weeks when it comes to Clove. Don't forget to sign up for that free newsletter using the link in the description or the comment section down below. It's a really good way to you know help support the channel while also get some you know free valuable content provided straight to your inbox.